What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm showing you guys the New Balance 574. Now before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, let you know I'm in the right direction to showing you guys what you wanna see. If you're new to the channel, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me, and you guys have been doing this video is coming ahead of time if you follow me on Instagram, at YDavis. But let's get right into it, guys. So I have the 574 Salehi Benberry right here in front of me, the New Balance Yurt. Um, we get a pretty dope box right here on the top. It says NB has yurt up there yeah so if you guys were wondering what a yurt is it's basically what you see on the right side of the box and basically it's a hut made of skin okay um now coming on to one side of the box in the front of the box here it says new balance lady benberry and then it has a little bit of texture to it let me get the houses right there on the other side we just get like some pores and things like that um on the back of the box we have a message here okay show you guys that right there I did get these in a the size 9.5. All right, and on the front, we also get the New Balance right there as well. Now, I did get these in a the size 9.5. Once again, retail on these was 150. Current resale is going from about 200 to 250. It keeps on fluctuating. But um, let's get right into these shoes, guys. Um, Open up the top of the box here. Here, we get this Mongolian piece right here with them wearing the actual shoe, which is pretty fire. Okay, now on the inside of the box here, we get this brown paper, and it says Salehi. Benberry on it with the New Balance logos there. Okay, pretty dope. Now, uh, we take out these shoes right here. Now, when you first look at these shoes, you might be like, man, these kind of remind me of some Balenciagas. Um, they have a little bit of weight to them, but they're not like super, super duper heavy, um, in my opinion. Now, one dope thing about these shoes is that they come with this whistle on the back right here, which I will show you guys right now. So, uh, yeah, um, it is a real actual whistle on the back right there, so that's pretty fire. You know what I mean? But um, other than that, a really nice colorway, a nice shoe. Like these shoes are made for hiking and things like that. So if you're not into that type of stuff or you know what I mean? I don't know what to tell you, but um, let's start off with the bottom of the shoe here. So on the bottom of the shoe here, we get this pink sole on the bottom of the shoe. It says New Balance at the back. And then we kind of get that lip that extends all the way out. Okay, and in the middle it says New Balance. Okay, all right. So on the outside of the shoe here, we get this Absorb SBS. Okay, and then we also get some roll bar technology in the shoe as well on the outside of the shoe, on the outside of the outsole. Okay, it comes in like a white, pink, and a little bit of that maroon. On the inside, we don't get the pink on the top, but we get the pink on the bottom, but you know, we get that maroon down there as well. Now, um, coming back up a little bit higher than that, we get this nappy suede all the way around the shoe, which is pretty fire. Okay, and then uh, we get this pinkish New Balance and on the back of that it is black okay same thing on the inside we get all of this we get all of this nappy suede on the inside of the shoe and then we get the black in the background then we get the New Balance on top of that now looking by the ankles here we get like this mesh like material on the ankles on the outside and on the inside okay pretty fire so on the outside of the shoe here it says Salehi Benberry and white and on the background of that is black and then we get a little bit of blue leather right there with some blue stitching same thing on the inside but we just don't get his name but we still get the leather details there coming on towards the front of the shoe here on the toe box we get that same mesh material that we've seen by the ankles which is pretty nice okay pretty good materials on this shoe then on the outsides of the toe box here we get that blue leather with some blue stitching moving a little bit further up than that we get some more of that nappy suede and then it goes to the mud guard which we get this maroon like bumpyish leather on there okay then we get a little bit of pink down there as well okay now these won't crease up so you don't have to worry about wearing any wearable shoe trees in these okay guys now as you guys can see here we do get a little bit of reflectiveness on the toe box there which is pretty dope real nice reflective right there on these shoes Okay, now moving up a little bit higher than that, we get some more of that nappy suede, but we only do get one pair of laces on these and they come in like a whitish color. But if you guys look at the tips here, they're like dyed in like that blue. Okay, so that's pretty fire. Now on the bottom of the tongue here, we get that nappy suede on the tongue. And then as it comes up, we get like this ripstop canvas material. And on top of the tongue here, it says New Balance with the New Balance logo, Yurt 574. 
okay and that is mostly in black and the background is in white all right pretty fire now if you guys look on the outsides of the tongue here comes in that nappy suede on both sides of the outside of the tongue so that's pretty dope all right now coming on to the inside of the shoe here we do get some tissue inserts and the inside of the shoe is mainly pink bluish greenish color on the insole okay then it says salehi benberry and then we get the new balance logo in white all right now if you guys run your hand past it does have like a a bumpy feel to it and uh, on feet they are pretty comfortable they're not the most comfortable shoes i've ever had but they are pretty comfortable on feet okay now at the top of the back of the shoes here we get that mesh then it goes down to the whistle okay which is pretty nice on the whistle there it also says yurt on the back if you guys can see it and then we get some some of that maroon rubber down there and it says new balance on the outsides of it okay then it goes down to that white sole and then we get a little bit of a, like a bluish air unit down there with clear on top of that. And then it extends down to the lip of the sole. All right. Now I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now. Okay guys, now this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine, let me get nine and a half in all my shoes. Um, I would say go true to size on these though, because these do run true to size. You might even be able to get away with down half a size if you're not able to go true to size. I wasn't able to get my true to size, so I had to go up half a size. So I did get it nine and a half. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box. So on my left side here, I'll show you guys my foot is, this is my toe. Okay, so I have some space up in there. This is the right side, here we go, big toe. Okay, so I do have some space up in there as well. Now this material won't crease up uh, with that mesh right there. So you won't have to worry about getting any force fills. But um, as you guys can see, this is how I normally wear my shoes right here to the left, unlaced. And on the right shoe, when I tie it up, it's not tight here at all, which is a good thing. Um, so on the left shoe here, how I normally wear my shoes, when I try to walk with it, my foot does come out just a little bit. So um, make sure you guys do go true to size on these because if you'd like to wear your shoes unlaced like I do, um, your foot may be coming out of the shoe when you, once you start walking after a long period of time. Um, other than that though, very comfortable shoes here. Okay guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love, and stay tuned.